What is up, YouTube? This is Ryan with Sports Card Rush, and I am back with another video. Today, I have um, a, a box of cards and then a story about the new target line, um, the new target system that's in my area and in a lot of areas. And uh, so, starting with that here, um, I think a lot of you know or have experienced this already is targets kind of changed their policy, or some targets have changed their policy on how they're doing cards. And I'll preface that by saying not every target is doing it the same way. So, um, for example, I live in an area with a bunch of targets around me. I'm in the Twin Cities in Minneapolis. Um, and so Target headquarters is here, and there's a ton of targets all over the place. But um, two targets I went to last night just to kind of see what they were doing. Um, one target is was doing uh, a sign up on starting on Mondays where you give them your name and then that puts you in the virtual line for Fridays starting at 8 a.m. And I really like that system, um, but I, because I went on a Thursday night, I was way far down on the list for that one, so I didn't like my odds there. And then I went to a different Target, and they are just doing um, get in line at 7 a.m. when the store starts, and then they put you on the list, and then it's kind of first in line, gets first dibs uh, starting at 8 o'clock in the morning. So this morning, uh, which is a Friday when I'm recording this, I went and uh, got there around 6.30, 6, so probably about 6.40 and there were already 12 people in line, which I had no idea if there would be 30, 50 people in line or no one in line. Um, so I was 13th in line and um, at seven o'clock they open the doors and then they sign everyone up with their phone number and say, starting at eight, they will have all the cards above $20 um, behind this customer service desk and you will get a text message when that happens, um, when, you're, when it's your turn. And so you kind of loiter around, or actually I left and got gas and came back. So that by the time I was done signing up, it was probably 7.15, so I had um, 45 minutes to kill, which is kind of nice. I was able to go get gas and get breakfast and stuff like that, and then came back. And then it ended up being kind of slow, um, but took about 40 minutes for me to get to number 13. And when it was my turn, went up there, and they just say, um, for this target, it's a limit of three total items and so I got these three. I got uh, Donner's Baseball, uh, Heritage Baseball, and uh, I got the very last box of Donner's Basketball, which I'm pretty fortunate on that one to, to get that last box. Um, I think they also had some optics still, which I think is kind of running out, so that was kind of a bummer not to get that since I haven't opened any of it at all. Um, other than that, I don't think they had prison basketball yet, uh, so that'll have to wait for another week or two. Um, overall, I like the system. Um, it still is, it favors the people that have a ton of time and are willing to wait in the morning, um, but it's a little bit more fair where it's not so much about having the recon or the info of where and when they're stocking. It's more consistent and um, allows people to get what they want and kind of know how long it will take, too. So today, I'm going to split this into three videos. I'm going to start with Donner's Baseball and then do the other two here on another video. So let's get going on it. Um, I think I've said it in past videos, I'm trying to avoid um, opening like not the not kind of big time products. And of course, then I buy Donner's Baseball, which has pretty limited resale value. Um, obviously no logos or anything on it, um, but it is kind of a nice product because they do load this stuff up with cool uh, parallels and inserts and um, serial numbered cards and stuff like that. So it's kind of fun. It's just that, you know, you're probably not going to get $20 back from this, which isn't really the point because it's a fun, it's a hobby. It's supposed to be fun and you're supposed to have a good time with it. So let's just open it and see what we get here. I know this is my first time opening it this year. In the past, I've always bought a box, a hobby box of this because it's usually 70 or 80 bucks. This year, I think it was like 130 or 140, which is just not worth it to me. Um, but it is a blast opening this stuff because you do get so much. And there are packs varying thickness, probably with the um, some kind of promo card inside of some of them, maybe. And um, I know there's a couple cool new inserts this year too. Um, the Unleashed just kind of cool, but I think those are pretty rare to get. And so let's just see what we get. Um, probably looking for some of the big 
uh, rookie just like you do with tops. Not sure if they do prospect cards or anything like that, but let's just see. So here's the design. Looks okay, kind of busy, um, quite a bit of white space up there. Uh, first one, Brandon Belt, Cody Bellinger. There's a Larry Walker throwback to, what is that, 87? I believe 86, 87, one of those two years. Um, Brad Keller, and then we have a rated prospect card of Wander Franco. That's kind of cool. This is an in uh, parallel of some sort. I wonder if this is Rapture, maybe? I'll have to look that up. I have not seen any videos of this, um, so it's kind of cool. Um, he's been a rated prospect for a while now, though, so I don't know how, um, how long can you be a rated prospect before um, it's not really a desirable card anymore, but I think he'll be up this year. Mike Yastrzemski, Diamond Kings, and that I believe is a hollow purple. That's kind of cool. I believe this is a name, uh, nickname card, Butane, which is I believe Walker, or, um, yeah, Walker Bueller, and then a Griffey throwback card, which is kind of cool. So yeah, I think I would prefer the target system of like going on a Monday, get my name on the list, and then not have to worry about getting up early and getting in line. Um, you can kind of know where you're at. But I think one of the big things too is like you have no idea how much product they're going to have, if any at all, and Target won't tell you because they don't know. Um, so it's still kind of potentially a waste of time. Steve Garvey. Anthony Santander, and here's another purple, Carlos Carrasco, that Diamond Kings Whit Merrifield, not a huge fan of this year's Diamond Kings, I, not quite the cool style that they usually have, and then a rated rookie of Christian Javier. Kim, Solano, Fergie Jenkins throwback card, Rizzo, another, this one's the Rookies, Nate Pearson, and this is, I think these are the Rapture. They look a lot like the status team all cards from this year in basketball. And then Max Scherzer, purple, not bad. And there's a name, uh, nickname, Bigfoot. Elite Boom. and Trevor Bauer. All right, Corbin Burns, you Darvish, who's not with the Cubs anymore. Devers, Smoltz, John Smoltz, throw a bad card. Dallas Google. Ian Anderson, purple. Jazz Chisholm. And another Clayton. Stanton. Brandon Lau. Reggie Jackson. Robot card. Miguel Cabrera. Dominators. DeGrom. Kind of cool. Eloy Jimenez, purple, and the Diamond Kings, Miguel Cabrera, and then uh, Sam Huff, rated rookie. Patel Marte, Fernando Tatis Jr., Wilmer Flores, Ricky Henderson, throwback. Dylan Bundy. Just wondering the position of that card, if that was anything special. 
since that's kind of in the spot where either a throwback or an insert has been. Uh, Vlad Guerrero, purple throwback. Bo Bichette. And the, uh, I guess it's Tominator, uh, Jim Tomey. Porto, Corey Seager, Dwight Gooden, Lazardo. Oh, there we go. Alex Rodriguez unleashed, and I think this is the a Rapture parallel. So I think this might be extra special here. I don't know if these are numbered, I bet not. But that's really cool. I'm pretty happy about that. Put that one aside. Javi Baez, purple. Anthony Rizzo, Diamond Kings. And then a uh, Leody Tavares, rookie. All right, Mike uh, Yastrzemski. Rosarina. Wong. Rod Carew, throwback. Uh, Senzal. Zen, Sen Zatella, uh, Jose Abreu purple, uh, Molina, so that says the Lou below, so it's this is a, a city or team nickname card, and I'm probably missing some other ones, there's a ton of different variations and things, and then a Jose Ramirez Diamond Kings. Alright. Ian Happ, Perez, Craig Biggio, uh, Garrett Cole, Babe Ruth Elite Series, and I think that's the, the Rapture parallel, Max Fried, Purple, Clark Schmidt, Radio Rookie, and then Mike Trout. I wonder if that is variation of some sort. I don't see any indication, but that seems like a weird picture to use. But I don't see anything that makes it seem like a variation, other than the weird picture. Like if that was a Topps card, that seems like a Topps kind of variation. Alright, uh, Marte, Hoskins, Byron Buxton, A-Rod, throwback card, Clevenger, ooh, Big Sexy, purple, so that's Cologne, but Bartello, uh, Jack Flaherty, Diamond Kings, and then a Tyler Stevenson, Raider Rookie. Alright, last pack. Alright, we got a Trey Turner. Jeff Bagwell, uh, David Fletcher, we have a Blue Stars, Bo Jackson, it's kind of cool. I don't know if the, oh, we have another um, Unleashed. Not numbered on the Bo Jackson. So maybe these are, that's a Juan Soto, which is great. So maybe these are just the way these cards are. I wish I would have done a little bit more research here. I'm sure you can tell me in the comments. Um, but they look really nice. Set that one aside too. Azuna Purple. Donaldson. And a Roger Clemens that says 354 career wins at the bottom. So I'm guessing that's some sort of variation too. Cool. So that's it. Um, fun product, but... Not a ton of value here. Lots of different variations and purples and a couple inserts. Didn't hit very many of the big rookies, though. Um, um, Bohm and, and Adele and some of those guys, but still kind of fun. Definitely like these Unleashed cards, which must not be as rare as I thought, but they look nice. 
what do you think? Is this is Donner something you want to, or you are buying or like? Uh, clearly the value isn't usually there, but if you get lucky, you might hit a big card, but I don't think there's any number cards in here. I'll have to check. Ouch. You know, usually they have something because they have so many different numbered cards. Um, but I f feel okay with this. Uh, what do you think? Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a good day. Thank you.